Walker. So let's bring in Mark Lucchini, Jammy Chief Investment Strategist, 67 billion in assets under management. And and I don't know when I hear Jamie Dimon, I think to myself that that actually sounds a lot better than what we've heard from some other Wall Streeters who said throw in the towel. What do you say? You get to split the difference here, Mark. Liz, we'd fall down on the side of Jamie Dimon. We uh, concur with his view about uh, what's underlying the fundamentals of the U.S. economy, and that's the consumer. And a strengthening consumer picture as it relates to more people being employed. You see confidence levels lifting, the gas tax cut, which has helped to boost savings if it didn't necessarily get spent. And last but not least, and finally the missing ingredient, we're starting to, to detect a pattern of, and that is rising wages, which has the highest corollary to spending. Well, and then you have people who are watching right now saying, look, there's volatility. What name should I pick that I can get paid while I wait? You've got three names here. And what we decided to do was look at the dividend payouts for these. You like Walmart. You like AT&T. You like CVS. And we put on a screen what they pay out per share in dividends. And it was pretty stunning. It looks kind of healthy. And I think to myself, well, heck, you could just buy these three names and at least get paid while you can sit out the volatility. Well, that's certainly the thesis behind all three, really. I mean, Walmart is a reasonably priced consumer staple stock, which is hard to find in this marketplace with a handsome dividend yield. Yes, it's had problems, but we think that they're fixable. CVS is a drug retailer that's experiencing increasing traffic. Uh, you're getting basically a market multiple for higher than market earnings growth out of a company that stands from the demographic push to more prescription drugs, more health care facilities. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, AT&T, one of the few sectors that that is telecommunications that's experiencing pricing improvement, and at the same time, you clip a 5.5% dividend. Uh, yeah, you've got to love that. And, Mark, it's a good message. We're going to put all three of your picks on Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman. It's great to see you. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you, Liz. Mark